Hey, what's up YouTube? Man, it feels weird to say that. It's been a long, long time. It's me, Vinny Langdon, if you forgot. And I am hanging out here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm here at what they call the Lookout, and I'm about to catch up with my friend from Staten Island, New York. He goes by the name of Mustang 2005. We're gonna be checking out some of the landmarks and sites. They got a new mural in town. Maybe we'll check that out from the show, The Office. Remember that show? Yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. We're gonna go check out some of the cool landmarks of the Electric City. So come on, let's go! Well, we just made it to our first destination here. This is the historic Nayog Park. We are gonna go show you the Nayog Falls. We're gonna show you the tree house, and uh, hopefully I don't get hit by a car. <laughs> and by the way, hey, it's Mustang 2005. How you doing, guys? Yeah, so throughout the day, we'll be uh, doing a little chat, talk about his story. So let's go check out this uh, tree house over here. It's pretty cool. Have you ever been in a tree house before? No. Oh man, he's in for a treat. <laughs> he's in for a treat. This is a real tree house. I wish I had a tree house in my house. I, know. I don't even have trees in I my house. I don't even have a tree in my yard. <laughs> it's horrible. So, here we go. This is the treehouse. It's so funny because like, I'm uh, honestly terrified of heights. I think that has to do with when I, back in 1995, I got to go on top of the World Trade Center and my aunt was holding me and was like, look, look how high we are. And I think ever since that, that triggered it. But uh, yeah, I'll give you guys the uh, panorama view here. It's kind of cool. This actually, I believe, was shut down like in 2018 to 2020 because they did some repairs on it. So I'm hoping that it's legit and I don't fall through the fall through the cracks. But But it is free if you are in the Scranton area, you can come to this park and uh, it is free to explore. And the summertime is really nice to come here. Actually, all seasons throughout Pennsylvania is really nice. Um, there's Interstate 81 over there, you can see. And you can see the rushing falls down there. But imagine coming here in the fall time and the leaves are changing colors and uh, very nice. This is kind of funny, on this site in 1897, nothing happened. A lot of hiking trails over here. It's cool. Oh yeah, very cool. Did you ever see the movie Twilight? Nah. Okay. I'm not into that kind of movie. Neither am I. The only thing I liked about that movie was the fancy drone shots and this is what it reminds me of was like when they were flying through all these trees. It's like, so cool. Ooh, 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead yonder over here and we are gonna go check out the Nayog Falls. So here we go. So obviously you could tell it's a popular local attraction here. Everyone likes to take in the sights. So, but now I think we're gonna head to a couple spots in downtown Scranton. And uh, some of you guys that are fans of that show called The Office from NBC back in the day, um, there are lots of little uh, little hidden gems. So we're gonna go check that out in just a second. But let me get another overall view shot here. So it's pretty amazing that like in one minute, we're in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nature. And then in the next clip, you guys will see, we'll be in like this industrial <laughs> little city and it'll be like, we don't feel like we're in the middle of the woods. So we'll see you in a second. So what's really interesting about Scranton is in 1850 the population was around 2200 people and by 1890 it skyrocketed to 76,000. Between there and the early 2000s it definitely decreased and was a lot lower than that. But now today, 2023, the population of Scranton is around 75,000 so it's amazing how some things you know, people come and go, and you imagine what brings people to this area. Back then it was because of the coal mines and the rail yards, and now people just want to raise a family in a decent town. So uh, yeah, we decided to stop here at the uh, Iron Furnace over in Scranton before we get into the main city here. But yeah, we're actually on top of these Iron Furnaces here and uh, it's very interesting that you could actually stand on top of this concrete slab here of the foundation of them, but uh, whew, look at that, it's very interesting. So we're just up there looking down. Now we're gonna give you the perspective of looking down, looking up at how big these furnaces were.
Definitely interesting. I like how each one of them has a different, like, design and layout. Very interesting. It resembles like European architecture, you know? Medieval era. It's just very interesting if you put it in that context. And you gotta think, these were built in 1840s. And in 1849, they used these. And eventually it all fizzled out. But pretty cool to think like how old this is and it's still standing sometimes you get a refrigerator and it doesn't even last you a year or a TV but yet all this stone foundation can last for hundreds of years I feel like I'm in California because the homeless people used yeah. to yell at me too. I remember one time I was in my hometown, right? This homeless lady was sitting on a bench and she was giving out STD facts to everybody. Wow. Just just like how that lady's talking yeah, her tone. Yelling, She'd be oh, like, did you, know did you know 33% Did you know 33% of teenagers have gonorrhea? And it was like, how do you know that? <laughs> I guess when you're homeless you have a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> Anyways, so hey, what's up everyone? <laughs> Welcome back. So we just left Nayog Park. We checked out the iron furnaces. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, and now we're gonna go check out this brand new mural that everyone's all hyped up about it and we're gonna get like the exclusive peek here. So totally excited about that. Then we're gonna check out the Steamtown Mall. We're gonna go check out the rail yard and then we're gonna go to the Lackawanna coal mine. So stay tuned, look, let's go check it out. I was trying to do the office effect with the camera lens. It didn't really uh, work that well. But uh, yeah, here um, right across from the Steamtown Mall. And uh, this is actually like a bank. And uh, the other side is called The Loft. And there it is, guys. Brand spanking new in downtown Scranton. And uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty colorful, pretty vivid. It looks very vivid as it does on camera here. No color correction. You're seeing it as is. But. Uh, yeah, they're actually over there working on it right now. Um, looks like only two people are working on it, and uh, I don't know. It looks like it's it looks like it's pretty close to being finished. Yeah. I don't know what else they're gonna add to it, but it's uh, very interesting, I would say. But yeah, pretty cool. Well, that's insane. That's what she said. All right guys, so when you come to the Steamtown Mall, you go to the second floor and you go in front of Crunch Fitness here and uh, there's a sign from the office. So, that's pretty cool. Now this sign over here tells you if you are a fan of the show, there are different stores in the library. There's a lot of uh, places around the town you could get Scranton and just uh, office memorabilia. So. There it is, guys. If you're a fan of the show, you're probably like, oh my god, there it is. So, enjoy. So, this is the Steamtown Mall. Come out here, and you're at the Steamtown Historic Site. This uh, amazing rail yard. And lots of old trains. Some cool cars. And just very interesting. This is Scranton history right here. And if you head yonder that way for about 50 minutes, 45 minutes, go out that way, you'll be in upstate New York. Go that way for about two hours, you'll be in New York City. And uh, 
good times. You get a couple close-ups here of some of the trains in the next shot, so. So in 1865, the lay of the land here, the original plan was to build a locomotive shop and also in 1909, this was supposed to just be an area where they would work on the trains and it kind of evolved into more than that, especially going into the early 1900s with the coal mining industry, the anthracite coal mining industry here, where they were bringing coal and transporting it through all over the place. So, and also I found out that the locomotive shop um, is still actually part of it, it is still active today. So that's pretty cool. So when I was over at Nayog Park, I was telling my buddy Eric over here that hey, uh, just imagine how nice it is during the fall foliage season. And they have definitely a lot of cool tours to nearby towns like Goldsboro, Carbondale, Tobiana, the Delaware Water Gap. And uh, yeah, so I guess you can go to that website there and you can you can get a schedule, a full schedule, so enjoy. So apparently the office that they work at, that was the company they worked for. It was like this oh. paper and supply company. Oh, okay. But on the show, you can see that tower right there, that part of the building, and they used it for Take the, the opening right theme of the movie. Street. Say so. your destination will be on the right. Your destination is on the right. But you can see it says Pennsylvania Paper and Supply Company. So, yeah. in a quarter uh, mile, I suppose that's where right they got the, the inspiration. So, at the time I'm making this video, uh, the tour cost $10 to get in if you are an adult over the age of 18. Um, I was going to whip out my receipt. But they, uh, you, that's your ticket, is basically a receipt. They put the time of the next scheduled tour. Uh, we got here before two o'clock, and we thought it was like an hourly basis. Um, and we thought the next tour would uh, leave at two o'clock, unfortunately. It doesn't leave till 2.45, so we have 45 minutes. The tour's an hour, so we'll be done out of here by like almost four. Uh, I'm gonna head to Pittston and get some dinner. I've done a bunch of photo shoots here. Um, I've even done like engagement photos because just the way this color pops, it's uh, very interesting. This old coal mining, coal company truck here. It's, it's pretty cool. And uh, you got these pulley systems here. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's different. I mean, yeah, it's very cool. I remember the first time I really learned about coal mining was seeing that movie October Sky, the story of Homer Hickam. Homer Hickam Jr., the guy who uh, built rockets with his friends down in uh, Virginia. And uh, doing family genealogy, I found out that my family, my relatives, actually were coal miners here in this whole region a town nearby called Jessup, Pennsylvania and Archbald and on my grandmother's side, on my dad's side, a bunch of those men were coal miners who came from Wells in the late 1800s, going and working through the 1900s and the coal mining industry, you know, was fairly active for quite some time. You can actually see the coal mine carts descending into the ground there. And that's what we're gonna do in just a few moments. So I bet Eric's super excited for this. This is gonna be definitely different. All right guys, so we're looking at the large fans. They were used to ventilate the mines and the fans, they suck the air out of the mine through this shaft. And the fresh air enters the slope entrance to replace the exhausted air and it basically gives it a steady flow. And actually when we're in the mines, we are going to look at a shaft. So I wonder if that shaft is actually here. That would be pretty cool. Maybe it is, but uh, yeah. And this is like the ventilation system here. Wow, it's really blowing. Yeah, 
thing. Hey, a different perspective using my uh, phone. That's weird. Um, so yeah, just got out of the uh, Lackawanna coal mine. I uh, haven't been there in like, I don't know, five years or so. Uh, they told us we couldn't really film, so it wasn't the end of the world. We got a couple clips between uh, the guy talking, which makes sense. But uh, yeah, good times. Gonna go get some food, then gonna head to Pittston to the uh, Tomato Festival. Um, and uh, then I'm gonna interview Eric about his career, his life, and uh, good stuff. So uh, that might be a different video, but this was just the tease. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of Scranton. We saw a lot of things and uh, met some interesting people. Rock and roll, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Share the video if you liked it. And uh, yeah, look out for my new film, Ghosted, coming out soon. I don't know when, but you'll see. You'll see when it does. Enjoy.